just hanging out today with the uh, cats <laughs> and getting some work done around the house. I don't know if you can see the cats here. Let's see, there's one up on the chair and I don't know, can you see? The two are in boxes there. <laughs> they love their boxes. Anyways, uh, I just wanted this to be an intro to part two of Less Emotions, More Reason. I'm going to be doing shorter videos uh, when it comes to this kind of teaching. The longer videos will be The Beards Without Borders and uh, um, those types of uh, shows. Uh, happy Clouds and that kind of stuff. So, welcome to my <laughs> post-holiday uh, home here. It's crazy. Santa Claus is all over the place. Can you see my home? Still have, have a lot of uh, cleaning up to do. Anyways, take that seriously. Listen, listen to part two that I'm going to get into. It's going to be important for you to detach just a little bit more and almost instantly you're going to start seeing more results in your life if you operate less on emotions and more on reason. Listen. It's the appropriate use of emotions. If you're in sales, you know that most people purchase on an emotional level. You purchase a certain car, not using common sense and reason. You purchase a car because you look good in it. You feel good in it. You kind of care about what other people think. I know I've, I've done it myself. In years past, I remember driving a car so crappy that if I met a girl, I parked the car three blocks down the street. And when someone said, hey, where'd you park? I'd say, oh, I couldn't find a parking place because I was ashamed of the car that I drove and I thought maybe they would judge me somehow based upon my vehicle. And the reality is I really don't care about what I drive. To me, I, I remember there was a certain point in my life when getting from A to B was all I needed. And then I remember years ago thinking, at what point in my life did getting from A to B in style become important? I'm such a, a practical person when it comes to vehicles. I'm a practical person when it comes to clothing. I'm a practical person when it comes to hair care, beard care. I'm a practical person when it comes to uh, just dealing with people. And every now and then I get sucked in, they reel me in, and pull me into drama. Which, I'm good at turning that off. So I would say to you, learn how to deal with your life on a less, I don't want to say a non-emotional level, but a less emotional level. Let your decisions be made less with emotions and more with common sense and reason. Let your relationships be more common sense and reason as opposed to love. Because the whole love thing, as I've said in the past, uh, love and sex are highly overrated. And I'm not just talking about relationships here. The romance of being in business and being an entrepreneur is highly overrated. You don't see the nights when entrepreneurs, the bootstrappers, are eating Chef Boyardee macaroni spaghettios <laughs> and ramen noodles. Uh, and a fancy night is when you cut up hot dogs to go in those ramen noodles or macaroni and cheese. There's nothing romantic about that, but it's a price you pay. There's reason. It's almost like a woman who is pregnant. She's willing to go through the uncomfortable period of bearing this child, this weight in front of her, knowing that in nine months, there's gonna be some pain, but because of the joy that's going to come after, she endures it. I don't want to say puts up with it, because that makes it sound negative, but she endures it. How is your endurance level, and how can you be less emotional 
about the things that you have to endure. Think about that. Put your comments down below. If you like this video, don't forget to bang that thumbs up button, forward the video to people who you think would appreciate it, and subscribe to the channel. That would be awesome. And as always, let it grow and let it flow.